Beautiful love. Well, it's another beautiful day, and today I'm hoping to cycle up to Dartmoor and maybe try to get to two bridges. Well, it's another gorgeous day in Plymouth, and today I'm going to go to two bridges, hopefully. And uh, three days ago, I went to Princeton and I walked there, so th today I'm going to cycle to uh, two bridges and see how far I get. So it's uh, 9 a.m. in Plymouth on Sunday, the 16th of January, I think it's 16th anyway. And uh, three days ago I walked from Plymouth to Princeton, it took all day. So I've decided to go a bit further today, but use my bike, which I've had since 2015. And I'm going to go try and get to two bridges. Uh, but there's no hurry, it's a beautiful and sunny day. So we'll get some more views and see where we get. So probably two bridges. Um, back to Plymouth will be about uh, 34, uh, 38 mile trip. So just coming up to Plymouth station now. And today we're going to go by Central Parks and there's the Plymouth Graffiti Views again. So we're heading back up towards Crown Hill now, uh, going up past Central Park. <coughs> Just past the station. First time I've been on the bike this year, so I'm going to take it easy. So just starting on the walk now and all the cycle ride now and uh, 
at the top of Central Park so the daffodils are out already and it's only the beginning of January so that's really good so uh, it's a beautiful glorious morning and it's mild as well so today like I said I'm going to head towards Princetown hopefully and then go to two bridges which I've never done that route before so uh, see how far we get today so as already mentioned I'm coming out of Plymouth uh, the opposite side of the uh, city this morning instead of going up through Mudley I'm going up through Central Park Shane Ritchie once uh, lived rough in the park here and he said if he was ever rich enough he'd buy it so this is the main bus depot for or garage for city bus and uh, we're going to swing off to the right towards Crown Hill and we've got the Plymouth Life Centre just over the back there so we're just kind of leaving the uh, top end of Central Park now where Plymouth Argyle is and the Life Centre and this is Pounds Park So that's from the Life Centre, which is built uh, for Tom Daly in the training uh, for the Olympics, so probably about two, uh, 2015. Tom Daly, uh, the diver, the gold medalist diver, used to train at Central Park, which is just in the back, or used to be just in the back. So we're uh, heading on the Outwood Road now. Just over the back, you've got the football stadium for Plymouth Argyle. The Green Army. So there we go, come with our gal just over the back there. Right, so we've just come past uh, Marsh Mills now, not Marsh Mills, just come past uh, Morrison's and we're heading back down towards the uh, main motorway junction towards uh, Cornwall and heading out on the Tavistock Road towards Princetown and up the hill towards Crown Hill. So let's go! You wait little girl, our empty page that men would want to ride on, to ride on. You are 16, going on 17. Totally unprepared are you, face this world of men. Timid and shy and scared are you of things beyond your care. You need someone older and wise and telling you what to do. I'm 17, play on 18, I'll take care of you. Do, 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 do. Hey there, lonely girl. <clears throat> There's a busy route for ambulances. Durford's always in a state of emergency with ambulances zooming past down on this road every every five to ten minutes basically. So this is the way injunction will take us to the bottom of the hill by Crown Hill and uh, head up the hill then 
up past Hereford again, Plymouth, SMT Airport, and towards Dartmoor. And it's overcast and uh, rainy over Dartmoor at the moment. They didn't forecast that. They said it was going to be a nice weather day. Uh, looking at the charts this morning. So I'm at the top of the, uh, the hill, heading towards Crown Hill now, and then you've got the uh, footbridge of the, uh, of the uh, fuel carriageway, and uh, uh, heading out towards Dartmoor, uh, past Terraford, as I did two days ago, where I did the, uh, the Princetown walk. Hopefully, like I said, I'm going to go beyond Princetown on the bike this time, and head towards two bridges. I don't think I've ever been there yet, so I'll just check it out and see what it's like. Bike frame's been there for a while. Horrible place that is. Two sides of your story, basically. So we're heading towards Crown Hill Fort now. Uh, we'll go around the outskirts of that another day. Might have done it already. I can't remember. I've done so many videos, 3,000 videos on YouTube plus, and over 32,000 subscribers across my channels at the moment. Well, I was looking at the BBC weather forecast this morning. It said clear blue skies and a uh, nice weather front coming in. We were on the high. And um, heading out towards the morning, it's raining. So, let's see how far we get. I might not get to uh, two bridges with cabs on like this because I really haven't got the gear to go down to Dartmoor Wood. We've got jeans, we've got fine weather gear for air uh, tops, but only jeans for bottoms and trainers. So, I'm just coming out of Crown Hill Fort. Uh, the video I did uh, three days ago had me going to Princetown walking. Uh, so, to save video in time, I'm going to cut this video a bit shorter and just continue where I left off from Princetown, heading towards two bridges. When I set up this morning, they forecast fine weather, but there's uh, rain over Dartmoor. Uh, but I got an under underwater GoPro camera, so I can still record with that if I need to. Um, and hopefully, it's going to clear up because the forecast was a uh, good outlook this afternoon and uh, later on this week. Okay, we just come out of a rain cloud coming out of Plymouth heading towards Dartmoor and I'm just outside Dartmoor Diner now but we're not going to stop in there uh, because we're heading now towards Yelverton. I haven't decided it's probably the better thing to the road even though the road's dangerous because we've been partying muddy, muddy across the moor at the moment. Uh, and I fell over the other day with my cameras so and I don't want to do that again. So we've got on the road to Dartmoor which will probably take about another 25 minutes. We'll head up towards Princeton and uh, we'll hope for two bridges. Okay, so I've just come in off the uh, Tavistock Road to uh, Yelverton and it's quiet now but a minute ago it was incredibly busy and frightening to be on to be honest in the wet as well with the water kicking up on my back and uh, it's not raining at the moment but you get wet from the uh, surface from the surface water uh, you pass back in you and uh, the wheels kicking up the water into the back and onto your trainers so I'm a bit rough at the moment so I'm going to walk to get the other thing it's really about another 200 yards 
and then get the bike back on the bike heading towards Kingstown. So I'm doing well. So it's now 11 o'clock. I set up in Plymouth city centre at 9 o'clock. So I've done a mixture of walking and cycling. No hurry today because it's the first cycle ride this year. And uh, it's 11 o'clock and I'm in Yellowton and you've got uh, a property sales shop there, you've got a, 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 um, a medical centre there, you've got a garage, barbers, food company and then you've got the co-op, Texaco and then you've got a little hotel there as well and some hotels across the road. And that's about it for Yelverton really apart from some a uh, village is on, uh, little bit of a village on the back there. So heading back to Princetown, the first um, part of this road is a bit hairy, very narrow, we covered uh, with trees and then you get onto the moors where it's open plan and you can see everything around here and I'd be a lot happier then. So let's go. So now I'm coming out of uh, the, off the Tavistock Road heading towards um, Princetown, coming out of Yelton and I must say the road's a lot quieter and uh, there's less water retention on the surface of the road so it's easier for riding and it's a lot drier as well so that's all good named after <coughs> idiots cars hope with no patience Right, for the second time this week, I'm back in the Borator Inn and I'm going to have a scum break, which is a few bits of chocolate, uh, some water with some lemon and um, ginger in it. So that's good. And then so I'm about four miles from Princetown now, so I'm making good time. So I'll definitely get two bridges in today and then uh, see where I go from there. See whether it's quicker to go to Tavistock and come back or come back the same week. Hopefully, it's not going to rain too much later. There's Princetown in the background where those trees are and then we'll swing left to uh, two bridges and it's 40 miles an hour speed limit on the moor so better not, go, better not go too fast stormy clouds around. Hopefully it'll hold out. I've done well today. I've only had two uh, cars pick the horns at me. I'm not sure if it was a friendly gesture or an aggressive one. In the last stretch towards Princetown now. And those trees are like a landmark.
there's not too many rain clouds, uh, but of course the higher up you go, the more chance there is of rain. Is the clouds? The clouds are. So after the rain earlier, I'm back on the moor and it's quite clear and hopefully it'll stay clear for the rest of the afternoon. Somebody's put a sign there or put on that sign, uh, Covid is a hoax. Uh, yeah, right, okay. So that's one of the people who have been hurt and damaged by it over the uh, last two years. Okay, so I'm now back at Princetown and it's 12.41, so it's taken nearly two hours to get to Princetown. So I'm going to try and get down to two bridges and see what happens. Now back along the quieter terrace that road up to. Just come out of Princetown and uh, turn left outside Princetown basically and I'm um, heading towards uh, Tavistock now by, on the 3357. Not sure how far it is but I've only got three hours daylight and I don't want to be getting back on the main Tavistock road after dark without any lights on my bike. It's going to be hard work again. I'm just passing the Dartmoor Inn at Maryville and I've set myself a challenge now against the time and the daylight so uh, it's interesting around here, I've never been here before and you've got uh, rocks all over the place as if they've been hit by an explosion. It's a very popular with tourist area, there's lots of cars, lots of people on the hillside around this area coming out of Tower Stock. So this is the more, that looks like the scene in the background over there. I don't know, maybe. Uh, but uh, this is the... Uh, Prince down to Tavistock Road now, and that's Tavistock in the background now, looks a bit. So, uh, I did it doing more than what I thought I'd be doing. Hello. Goldsworthy, higher Goldsworthy than I've been last time, stop three. 
Alright, it's time for to tell stop. This is the way to Amarillo I'll be sleeping like a pillow Dreaming dreams of Amarillo And sweet Marie will wait for me Do 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 tra la 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 Tra la 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 Tra la 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 I think the uh, sun will set about quarter past half past five tonight. So I might just get back through the worst of the roads before it gets too dark tonight in the back. Towards Plymouth. Tummy. So I've, I've just travelled six miles from uh, Princetown to uh, Langston Manor and I'm now two and a half miles from Tavistock. So uh, I get to Tavistock and I might just uh, get back onto the Tavistock Plymouth Road before dark. And it's a dangerous road as I showed the other day on my other video. So let's see, let's go. Well, it looks as though I got uh, through two bridges without really realising I got through two bridges uh, on the moor because I'm now in Tavistock. I uh, didn't think I'd get this far, so now I need to, I can't hang around because it's going to get dark in about an hour and a half, two hours. I don't want to be getting through the worst of the roads before it gets dark because of no lights. So uh, let's carry on with the trip. And it's been a great day out. Nice to escape again. The adventures are starting again, thank goodness. There seems to be lots of public schools around here. The St. Peter's School. Greenland's that way and Mount Kelly boarding school and day school this uh, to the right of me here and we're moving to Tavistock now And this is Tavistock Town. Or we're going to the right and left of it anyway. to a dead end. <laughs> there we go. Time to start a bit of a mile and then straight back to Plymouth. Try and have something to eat on the way back. So I'm making better time at the time than what I thought. It's uh, two o'clock and I'm now in Tavistock. Uh, so I'll just cycle through Tavistock and uh, head home for tea. It's 
It's been a good cycle ride today. It's the first time I've done this trip. And on the left we have the wharf, the art gallery of Tavistock and uh, the park. And then directly in front, at the end of this road, you've got the uh, Straight Drake Monument. So this is straight. So Francis Drake is still up in Tavistock and uh, of course uh, Sir Francis Drake was a pirate but it seems to be a lot of people who get knighted in, in the UK have had interesting pasts. Uh, he was uh, a guy that robbed uh, uh, so-called enemy ships or ships from abroad and brought the loot to the Queen and made the Queen very wealthy indeed and himself very wealthy indeed. Uh, so they turned a blind eye to his criminal activity. Yeah. Is that another story? So this is uh, Tavistock Park where you can sit in the afternoon, be entertained and watch the duck or even feed the ducks and play some music, not too loud, to do, otherwise they'll disturb the uh, local people. And uh, just uh, relax, it's a nice conservative sort of time. So now I'm heading back towards Plymouth, heading towards Dartmoor. So there's more daffodils out here, which is great. I love it when the daffodils are out because it's sign of spring, obviously, and then summer. <laughs> so winter's been very short this year. And there's Mari's Snack Shack just outside Tavistock there. So we're on the Plymouth Road now. So we're still on the Plymouth Road and head uh, just outside Greenhofen now. It sounds, uh, sounds like another German name. And it's got a sign saying 1859 IK Brunel. So I'll have to check that up when I get home. So I'm now at the River Alcombe and uh, two minutes ago I just had an idiot in a car going past me shouting something stupid for no reason at all because in my own area, my own space on this narrow road, minding my own business is cycling down the hill actually. So there's some morons around. So we with my German cycle hat out on. Uh, it's just going to Horrorbridge now. So I'm coming out of Tavistock heading towards Yelverton again and then back on to Plymouth. So still on Tavistock Road, I'm still nine and a half miles from Plymouth and I'm at the Harabia Country House Hotel. And the roads are getting busier and noisier as they would be. Right, the round trip's nearly done. I'm just uh, back at the leg of mutton now with my German hat on. Just back up the road there, so I've done a complete circle and uh, be looping on the single strand back to Plymouth now. So it's heading off from Plymouth at 9 o'clock this morning. I'm now back in Yelverton, going through Princetown, uh, uh, through Dartmoor and down to Two Bridges, Tavistock, and it's 3.15 in the afternoon, in Yel back in Yelverton. Uh, so uh, back on the moor and head back into the city. So we're back with the Dharma ponies. End of today's trip and they've just turned it right. The sun's setting over the back. The road's getting very dark with a fast road and uh, no real cycle track there. And it's very muddy in Dartmoor as well because of the rain this morning. So just be out of the moors just in time and on the footpaths again. Oh, you always get drama. I'm uh, uh, an hour back from the city centre and I got puncture on my bike. So I got all the way around Dartmoor and my tyre's gone down now. So I'm going to get back home um, and see my tyre out tomorrow. I've been on holiday, I was 
been talking all the way to you Cause every fascination comes with a price in your heart Do you like to say that you don't like to have fun You can say that I'm so bad all the time Thirty years of culture and the arts as a free service on Love Sometime TV. Don't forget to friendly share my videos, subscribe to my channel, and support me through PayPal at TCSphoto1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video.